Welcome into today's video and today we're going to be talking all about flipping cards and I'm sure you guys have heard about flipping cards in MLB The Show and maybe you know a little bit about it or maybe you're brand new to flipping but either way I hope you guys can take what I say in this video and use it uh, you know on your own account to make tons of stubs because I think flipping cards is probably the best stub making method that we'll have over the course of the entire year. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what to look for when flipping cards, what cards I think are the best to flip, and then go through the process of flipping cards. And if you guys find this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. And if you want more stub making videos, other Diamond Dynasty videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Now, if you're no money spent in Diamond Dynasty, I think flipping cards is necessary. If you want to complete all of the collections, get all of the cards you want. And last year, I made well over a million, probably more like two, three million stubs just from flipping cards throughout the year, which helped me get every single card in the game. And I also want to mention that you can flip cards without being, uh, you know, on MLB The Show on your PlayStation or Xbox because you can download the MLB The Show companion app and then sign into your account and flip cards right on your phone, which I highly, highly recommend doing. But now let's go over everything about flipping. And for those of you who don't know much about flipping, basically flipping cards is putting in low buy orders for a card. Then once that buy order goes through, putting in a higher sell order for the card then what you make back from those transactions minus the 10% tax from selling the card is the stub profit you'll make from the flip. And the 10% tax happens on all card sales on the market, if you guys didn't know. And what you want to do, uh, what you don't want to do, I should say, is click on the card and then immediately hit the buy button right there. Buy now at 9898. You don't want to do that or you don't want to click on the sell now option and click on that. Um, you want to avoid that and you always want to make sure you're putting in buy and sell orders for the cards. So a very important question we need to ask ourselves is what are we looking for when it comes to flipping? Like which, you know, cards should we be choosing? And the first thing I want to mention here actually first though is that um, flipping cards is a lot more difficult earlier on in MLB The Show games and this year is no different. So I would highly recommend just being patient and just because you aren't having a ton of success flipping the first few days that you try to, uh, don't completely abandon it because at some point flipping will become very profitable, you know, more profitable as time goes on. But like I said, what are we looking for when it comes to flipping? And the key thing to look for is a big differential between the buy and sell prices as you can see here it's about 9900 for harper and then 8300 for the sell order and yeah that's that's a pretty big differential about 16 1600 there um so a pretty good amount of room for profit if you're putting in buy orders for uh you know 8375 and then you know you're selling uh putting in sell orders and selling that card for you know 9800 some um that's going to be a good amount of stubs that you're making back in profits and then uh just to show you guys a bad example of like a card you don't want to flip because the differential just isn't there um as you can see let's see here the buxton card right right up there 1600 and 145 um it's not going to be great yeah 1615 that's even a better example you know a thousand differential and then you you're that's not even accounting for the tax so you know even if it's 1500 differential if you're selling it for 16,000 that's going to be like you're probably you're basically losing subs because of the um the sales tax at the end so this is just a good example of a card you just want to avoid when flipping but that harper down there um is going to be a good option and if that was confusing at all, I will be going over a couple more examples here in a minute after we talk about which types of cards or items are best to flip. And in terms of, you know, when we're talking about that, you can go in a lot of different directions. You know, you got the equipment, you got the sponsorships, um, and those usually have a fairly big differential, uh, which, you know, has room for good stub profit. The issue is, though, is that they're a lot riskier to try to flip just because they're very volatile. Um, they you know like they can they can change in prices so quickly compared to like let's say a live series card we don't see live series cards at this time of the year especially just completely tank or shoot up in value unless maybe they get supercharged and the other thing to note with sponsorships and equipment items is that these items usually aren't having their buy and sell orders go through very quickly compared to live series cards so the rate to which these cards go through is another super important thing to keep in mind 
There's also flashback cards, which can have pretty good margins, but like the other ones, like the sponsorships and whatnot that we talked about, they're just not going to go through as quickly as Live Series. And I've noticed Live Series cards at this time of the year especially are having their buy and sell orders go through the quickest out of all of the cards in the game. But again, the margins for those cards might not always be there, so you have to pay attention to that too. But the... Mo but for the most part, really, I just prefer flipping these Live Series cards, and I normally flip lower overall Diamond Live Series cards, but, um, you know, I might recommend, if you guys are just starting out with flipping cards, maybe start out with gold cards, and then once you get more comfortable with that, then you can move up to Diamonds, just because there's a little more risk with flipping Diamonds, but uh, maybe slightly better, you know, more profit maybe with Diamonds. So this Bryce Harper is a good example of a card I would flip. I'm selling it for around 9900 getting 8900 back. And if I put in a buy order for 83 some hundred, that's basically a 600 stub profit if both of those go through. So very good example of a card you can flip. And those orders will go through pretty quickly. Dylan Seeds right here is supercharged. Very good example of another card I would flip 100% right here. This is a like nearly 3,000 differential between the buy and sell prices put in a buy order for 10 700 some and then you know 1300 some or 13,000 some and you're getting you know 2,000 ish uh, stubs back in profit we're also going to take a look at the completed orders that I've done these are some flips I did last night Starting off with the Ryan Helsley right here, put in a buy order for 7,700, the sell order for 9,000, the 10% tax is taking 900 off of the sell price, the sell, uh, the sale, sorry, um, which was 9,000. So basically 8,100 is what we got back. The differential is about 400 stubs. So 400 stub profit is not too bad for a flip, but I'll give you guys an even better example. Austin Riley, these we have two of them. This first one, which we sold for ten thousand, the sales tax is basically we got nine not nine thousand back, bought it for eighty four hundred. So we got six hundred from this one, and the one below it's even better. We put in like an eighty one hundred stub um, buy order right there, and then sold it for like ten thousand one hundred. So we basically got like nine hundred from that flip right there so 900 and then like 600 so pretty good stuff right there 1500 stubs between those two flips alone so you can kind of see how this works and how this can be very profitable when the margins are right so i hope for the most part everything in this video was pretty clear if you guys have any questions though about anything i went over in the video go ahead and drop those down in the comments but I hope this video was helpful for those of you who don't know much about flipping or if you know a little bit but wanted to get a better understanding before jumping into flipping cards. Because like I said in the beginning, I just think some, if you're no money spent, you have to be flipping cards if you want to get all the cards you want, if you want to complete all the collections and get all the best cards in the game. And I appreciate you all for sticking around to the end of the video. And if you have any questions at all, drop those down in the comments. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.